Dragonflies, like mayflies, belong to the most ancient group of insects that flew over the land. And here in the museum in Harvard, there are fossils of them that are 150 million years old. They're almost identical with species that are still flying today. However, they're by no means the oldest. We know that there were other dragonflies even earlier, 225 million years ago, that were flying through the coal measure swamps. We don't have complete specimens of any of those, but there are some tantalising and amazing fragments. And here's one. This marvellously preserved wing has very much the same pattern of veins supporting panels of membrane as living species. The thing that makes it different is its size. From base to tip, it measures 12 inches, 30 centimetres. Little imagination is needed to replace the membrane that must have been there. This insect must have had a wingspan as big as a seagull's. Vibrating these wings, preparing for flight, must have been a formidable business. A creature this size must have been at least ten times heavier than the largest insect flying today. How did it manage to get into the air? One suggestion is that in those far-off times there was much more oxygen in the air, and that would have given the extra power needed to beat these huge wings. But it's a fair guess that this ancient pioneer of the skies flew with much the same technique as dragonflies do today. 